Hello my friends, today in this video, I will show you how to make a simple 3.7 volt lithium battery charger with auto cut off feature, and how to modify it to charge 2 to 6 batteries simultaneously. For single battery, you can use this NPN transistor. And take a 47 ohms resistor, solder between pin 2 and 1 of this transistor. Take 1 kilo ohms resistor and solder on pin 2 of transistor. And take 680 ohms resistor and solder on pin 3 of transistor. Now take a TL431 shunt regulator and solder between these two resistors. Take another 1 kilo ohms resistor and solder between its pin 1 and 2. Use a bicolor LED with common anode and solder over here. Take 470 ohms resistor and solder with green negative. You can use this battery holder and solder wires over here. I used USB cable for input DC. And here is the circuit diagram for reference. Use mobile charger and plug into the AC outlet. And you will see blue full LED glowing. I will charge this lithium battery. I used multimeter to check circuit output voltage and battery voltage which is at 3.7 volts. As you can see, it automatically detects the battery and shows charging status. Now as you can see blue LED turned on and indicates battery is fully charged. Now let's check with multimeter. As you can see battery reads about 4.1 volt, since it is old battery and it is fully charged. And now if you want to charge more batteries simultaneously like 3 in series or up to 6 in series, I designed the another circuit diagram with same TL431 shunt regulator but adjustable cut off threshold, and this time using the MOSFETs to deliver higher current, and added the smart start and stop function too. To avoid messing up with components, I converted the circuit diagram into the PCB, and the PCB is going to look like this. In order to manufacture this PCB, go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gubber file here. To get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. JLCPCB offers the 6-layer PCB in affordable prices and with attractive cost-effective discounts. A 6-layer PCB has additional 2 layers compared to the standard 4-layer PCB. The stacking technique reduces the electromagnetic interference and improves the performances of the electronics. Not only this, JLCPCB offers free wire in pads to optimize routing efficiency, with cost-effective prices without compromising on quality, and delivers in fast turnaround time. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces as for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. A small heatsink must be used for the MOSFET. Add little thermal paste for effective heat dissipation from MOSFET. And screw heatsink at its place. 
I just used cardboard piece for the setup and placed the charger circuit and also the 3S battery holder. I first will charge these used 18650 cells from old laptop battery. Connect the wires at DC input connector. Now connect the DC supply of 12.8 volts. As you can see the input supply is at 12.8 volts. And the output is exact 12.6 volts required for 3 batteries charging as 4.2 volts required for each battery. Before connecting the battery to output, adjust this potentiometer till green LED turns on to set cutoff at 12.8 volts. Now connect the battery at output connector. Press start button to start battery charging so red LED turns on. As you can see the battery is fully charged, so if we press start charge, it will not allow it to charge as battery is fully charged as per its capacity. And if I disconnect the battery wires at output, you can see in cut off position, it will not give any output current. Now let's check the voltage of all batteries. As you can see batteries are actually fully charged and there is little voltage differences as they are old used batteries. Now let's get these batteries out from the holder to test the circuit with the new batteries. As you can see the batteries are fully charged and charging is cut off. Now let's check the voltage of all batteries. Perfect, all the batteries are fully charged to its capacity. The total output is 12.3 volts from 3 batteries in series. If you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.